Hi there, and welcome back to this course on Introduction to Geographic Information Systems, or GIS. My name is Kate, and I want to congratulate you to reaching out the final two lectures of this course. The topic of today's lecture will be on geodata. Today we are going to learn about data that is used for GIS analysis, or geodata. We are also going to talk about two main types of geodata, which is vector and raster data types. What is geodata? Geodata is location information stored in a geographic information system. By viewing data with a geographic component, we see it through a different lens. Geodata tackles the problem about location because geographic problems require special thinking. Let's dive into the types, themes and sources of geodata. As it turns out, there is not one single type of geodata. Instead, geodata exist in various forms. For example, we commonly use vector and raster to depict geodata. First of all, let's talk about vector data. Vector data consists of vertices and paths. The three basic types of vector data are points, lines and polygons, or areas. Each point, line and polygon has a special reference frame such as latitude and latitude. First, vector points are simply XY coordinates. Secondly, vector lines connect each point or vertex with path in particular order. Finally, polygons join a set of vertices, but it encloses the first and last vertices creating a polygon area. Now let's move and talk about raster data. Raster data is made up of pixels or grid cells. Commonly, they are square and regularly spaced. But rasters can be rectangular as well. Rasters associate values to each pixel. Continuous raster have values that gradually change. The examples of continuous rasters are elevation or temperature layers. But discrete rasters set each pixel to a specific class for example, we represent land cover maps to a set of values. We will cover this topic in more detail in the upcoming courses. Now, let me show you great source of geodata that you can use to your project. Let's meet in the following lecture.